you rather have, tree or rainbow? Tree or rainbow? It's a bit like the poll that we had where we were saying whether we would like metal detecting or bottle digging and overwhelmingly it was like 75% wanted to go metal detecting and 25% wanted to go bottle digging and now it's raining like it always does. A lot of you says they didn't really mind in the comments down below so I was quite pleased at that as well. So I came out with Mark to do a bit of metal detecting and we have decided to go to my woods which is quite good and as you'll see we find quite a wee bit. I'll be using the White's Coinmaster GTX today. I've borrowed it from Mark as my Technetics is not working properly so I'm going to use that. And we're going to go around the little coppice wood that I've found. I've got a lot of finds there in the past so we'll try that out and if that fails we can do some other stuff maybe I hate to say bottle digging but we won't. We won't bottle dig. We won't. And I hope you'll join us in the first dig. So I'm using the Coinmaster GTX I think. I don't know. I think it's a GTX. Coinmaster GT which I borrowed from Mark. Treasure Hunt in Scotland. So I'm going to try that out in my lovely woods. So you'll be glad to know I'm out metal detecting in my old woods and Mark's came along treasure hunt Scotland. There's Mark over there having a wee go in the woods. A wee scanner as there. So we're going to try areas I've been in before but with the different detectors and see if it makes a difference. So you'll be glad to see I'm out metal detecting. So I'll see you in the first hole. Good to have you along. Catch you in a bit. Well, this isn't my my best machine. I've not used this one before. But I got a signal in there and I pulled out a little musket ball. I've cleaned it up. It's a wee pistol ball. Smashed. But it's a signal. I'm running the Coin Master in all metal mode because I don't know if it's picking up the different squeaks and bumps and stuff. It's not been used for a while so we'll continue using it on all metal because I've tried different uh, coins and things and bits of stuff that I've got in my finds bag and it seems to work so we'll continue using it I've got a wee button here that I used so we'll keep going so that little coppice wood didn't really work out the only thing I found was a musket ball so we moved on to a stubble field which was quite good and Mark had a really good really good find on that so join us there on the stubble field isn't that a wonderful tree? That is a beautiful tree. What would you rather have? Well, we've came away from the woods and I've changed detectors as well. I'm back onto the old faithful, the Euro Ace. It was just not happening in the woods and we wanted to get a field. So I've came onto a field. It's a Roman field and there's been Roman stuff found here quite a bit. And I found my first coin. It's a bit scabby but it's still a coin. I'm so glad to be out detecting. So we'll pop that in the finds pouch and we'll carry on. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably a 17 or 1800s coin. So that's a good wee find for us and Mark's found a couple of things as well. He's got a couple of coins so check out Treasure Hunt Scotland's uh, video as well. And we're back metal detecting! Yoo-hoo! Next find is a lovely big horse brass. Big buckle. Huge size. So that's a good find as well. So we're finding stuff and we're happy. It's not a bad day. Mark's away up over that hill somewhere. The stubble's quite hard to get through but we're managing it. It's uh, hard going, hard on the wrists, but we'll, we'll manage. So I'll get you on the next dig. I'll try and do you a live one next. So I'm going to do you a live dig. Got a good signal in here. So we'll see what we have. It's been a long time since I've done a metal detecting live dig. A long time. 
we'll see. I'll be shaky because I'm not on a tripod. I'm sure you can cope as much as I can. So we've got a live dig and it's in here. And then it's there, whatever it is. It's one of them thingy me jogger things, thingy me bits, whatever it is, which goes in my scrap. So I'll put that in the fines pocket and we'll carry on and I'll catch you on the next one. Well, as usual, you dig the, the rubbish and then you come to your next hole and you don't do it live. And I've already looked at this one. It was only about four inches down and it's there. I've gave it a wee clean. I have no clue what it is whatsoever. But it's definitely token coinish. It feels, it doesn't feel lead. And it doesn't feel bronze, it's somewhere in between, so it could be pewter. But that's a strange... Strange little thing. So I'll fill this hole in and we'll continue. And see what else we get on our quest. But that's nice, I like that. I probably shouldn't show you this because it harks back to the bottle digging. But it was something I saw, I dug a hole just there and I saw, I was walking across and I saw this and it's just right there, it's a clay marble. We can't leave them behind can we, old clay marbles, so that's alright, we'll keep that, put it in the finds. It's another find, I'm loving the day, it's just nice here, it's a nice field. Stubble's a bit long but we'll keep going. Mark. He just found a nice bit of, nice bit of gold. Yeah, Mark just found a nice bit of silver with some gold on it, a wee brooch, so that was really nice. So we'll carry on and I'll catch you in the next. Well, this one nearly blew my ears off, so we'll have a wee look together. Cracking signal, and I noticed it's round, at least. It's in here. And we shall reveal. Just there. Lovely signal. I'll just take it away. Is it a button? Could be a button. Mm, could be something else. Oh well. Not as exciting as I thought, but it's something in the round fashion. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll need to get that wee clean up and I'll show you it in the roundup. It's interesting. It is interesting. Okay, on to the next one. Let's get going. Just dug this hole here and the finds are getting a little more exciting. I just pulled out this. It's a strange looking thing. It's like a pigeon tag or something. Maybe for racing pigeons and it'll be the tag off the big basket that they travel in. Possibly. But an unusual thing to find anyway. No worries, it's got a wee registration number so we'll carry on. Just dug this one and I threw the pile over there. And we got a big giant buckle, a big horse buckle, very good, made of brass or something, but a huge buckle, excellent, it's good to be back on the buckle trail. Thanks very much for watching the video. Mark and I had a great day. We found some interesting finds. And I'd also just like to say thanks to 
some of the subscribers, quite a lot of subscribers who both answered the poll and sent best wishes to my mum and it was really appreciated by us both. My mum thought it was quite strange. But thanks to Kathy Benson, Amy Showcroft, MDF, Metal Detective Face, all the boys on the Sunday Dig. Thanks to Mick Finders Keepers and Hard Yaka, Yorkshire Digger, Mark himself sent some nice messages and thanks very much for that and I really do appreciate it. I, I appreciate all my subscribers. So hopefully you'll join me again. Just to say Mud Max, I'm glad you got that trowel shovel thing. I didn't know if you would get it or not. So yeah, take care. Thanks very much for watching. Glad you came along and hopefully you'll join me. I should be possibly getting a chance on this land. It's absolutely stunning and I'm looking forward to it and I hope you are too. So join me again. Give me a thumbs up and I shall see you again. That's my plane coming in to take me away. <laughs> if only. See you later. Bye bye.